you're organized and have a detailed schedule. INTPs don't have schedules, they have systems. Cleverly crafted, logical methods of dealing with things that are likely to pop up in their daily life. More so than this, they can be very routined and habitual by virtue of their third slot introverted sensing. They enjoy their creature comforts and without even needing to plan, they have this default day available to them. Hobbies, interests, projects, scheming that they can do each and every day. So they can wake up and simply fall into their curiosity seeking, thought inducing day without really ever needing to try. You know you're not an INTP when you've said some things just shouldn't be analysed more than zero times in your life. Nothing escapes analysis. Nothing is immune to scrutiny. Present them with a sacred cow and they'll ask you, how would you like your steak cooked? Pondering, picking apart is a way of life. INTPs seek out novel perspectives and new information to put it through the introverted thinking meat grinder, which churns out the fundamental principles of whichever concept or system was fed into it. You provide a shoulder to cry on and can deal with emotional people and situations effortlessly. INTPs are stereotypically viewed as adorable robots or lovable nerds, sometimes trying in vain or just downright ignoring any attempts to fit in. However, INTPs are actually very conscious of other people's feelings and trying to maintain harmony. Having extroverted feeling inferior actually makes them very cautious about hurting others' feelings. They both disrespect, but also on some level fear, overly emotional reactions and people and situations. Logic is the language they speak in. If they think that a person cannot be reasoned with, whether it's in general or just in a moment, in their minds it becomes an impossible situation to deal with. INTPs can get around this by being surprisingly adaptable in social situations. I think I used the phrase chameleon-esque at some point. As always with the inferior function, it's something that a type oddly values, yet has a very imbalanced or unbalanced relationship with. On one hand, INTPs rarely go out of their way to offend people, but at the same time, if shit hits the fan, then TI is going to be the hammer that they bludgeon people with. You know you're not an INTP when you can successfully bite your lip when someone describes their point of view as my truth. There is truth and opinion. There is no in between. Either something meets the criteria of being logically consistent and makes testable predictions that can be confirmed or denied, or it's just speculation, possibly accurate speculation, but speculation nonetheless. Despite this though, INTPs know that what is thought of as truth at one point in time changes as knowledge and understanding and technology advance. They can seem pedantic and black and white in their thinking, but nothing could be further from the truth. Their second slot extroverted intuition allows them to see the merits of perspectives that contradict their own, and they often factor these in. You can deal with not knowing. When I was younger there was a time where I was off school for about three or four months, and I can't remember exactly how it happened, but I started getting very into magic, particularly card tricks. There was one card trick I saw and I just thought this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I felt compelled to find out how it was done. The idea of not relentlessly pursuing the solution was and is kind of crazy to me. It blows my mind that someone could see something like that and not want to know what the answer is, what the solution is, how to solve the puzzle. Eventually I started doing these card tricks in school and whenever someone would ask me how is that done and I could see on their face that they desperately wanted to know, I used to think I like you. I'm not telling you but I like you. I should probably put this disclaimer at the start but there is no one thing that rules you out of being an INTP. Despite each type having preferences to the way they approach life, everyone can do everything. I would love to see in the comments what people think I've missed from this video. Also, if you're not an INTP and you're watching this anyway, leave some suggestions down below and I may use it when I get to your type. 
Also, I'd like to do a small experiment. We don't have a Facebook page and eventually we will, but our videos get shared on Facebook sometimes. And the videos that get shared there tend to do much better in terms of views. So feel free to share our video on Facebook and we can measure whether this video does better than usual. I really need some kind of catchphrase or slogan to end these videos. Also, comment below a slogan I can use to end the videos.